What is going on boys? It is me Quinkin and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Real Madrid Career Mode series and if we get over 150 likes on today's episode, that will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for all the support. I want to get the most consistent support uh, that I can possibly get. So 150 likes is a target. Make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, links are in the description. You can talk to me on there and uh, I respond pretty damn quick. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. But in the previous episode, I asked you guys if we should have Navas in goal or Casilla, and most of you said to put Navas in goal. So he's going to stay there, and hopefully he doesn't mess up anymore. He's been coming out and conceding too many goals lately, so hopefully he doesn't continue this on. And uh, Gareth Bale is still kind of injured. Uh, I think we only have like two more days left. Uh, but he will be back in time uh, to play our next game versus Granada. Now before we get into the game, this is how we're doing in the league table. We are in 7th place with 6 points. We have 2 wins, 1 loss. And uh, after that loss, we got another win in the league. But now we're going to be facing Granada. And hopefully we get 3 points in that next game to give us 9 points. So this is our squad that will be facing Granada. We are going to be facing Athletic Bilbao midweek. So we have to think in the future. So I put a weaker squad to face them. Navas is in goal. Gaia is playing as left back. Ramos is in as center back. Vallejo is in as center back. Also Danilo is right back. Modric is in. Isco. Bale playing as Cam. Ronaldo as left winger. Fekir as striker. Hesse as right winger. Hopefully we can get the job done. Bale playing as Cam really worked out for me in the demo. So hopefully it works out uh, versus Granada. And he actually plays really good centrally. And uh, hopefully Ronaldo can continue his form and score some more goals. Granada isn't a very good side. So hopefully we can get the job done in the first half and take out some key players in the second half. And uh, they're not that good. So this should be a breeze. And uh, we should be ready for the next game versus Athletic Bilbao. We haven't been playing too well at home. We've been losing and drawing. Hopefully we can change things around and play a lot better. And we have the squad to do it. So let's play better. Beautiful job. I see the run from Ronaldo. That's a beautiful run. Game past the defenders. Oh, here we go, baby. Right foot. Oh, the save from the keeper. Oh, win that. Oh, yes. The shot. Yes, baby. Yes. 1-0 up. 23rd minute. And it's Nabil Fekir, the new signing. There was a lot of complication in defense, but it, it hit off a defender. We get it, and Nabil Fekir, the new signing, scores to score his first goal in the Madrid shirt. And this is a good start to the game. I'm so happy he freaking scored, man. This is like his official first start, and he freaking scores. And what's Ronaldo doing? Trying to get a red card. We'll oh, chip it over to Jose. Oh, that's beauty. That is beauty. It's a peno! Oh my god, it looked like a handball too. It looked like a handball, but I understand. 30th minute, Hesse wins us a freaking penalty, and it's a red! Oh my god, yes! What more can we ask for? A red card in the 32nd minute, and a penalty, and it will be Ronaldo to go up. We're going to go to the right this time, and it's going to be CR7! The save! Holy crap! Oh man, I should have gone bottom left. That keeper saved it. He's keeping Granada in the game. I can't believe the keeper saved that, but we're in! Mm, hit off the- oh, Gareth Bale, you were so close. It hit off the freaking crossbar. So far, defense didn't really have to do anything, but we still have to defend well. Decent center. Vallejo, he actually won in the air. Great job. If Ronaldo could have scored that second goal, we would have been much better going off to the second half, but it's Fakir that scores a goal. Ronaldo missed a peno, uh, but overall we're playing very good at halftime. We're winning. Oh, get the mark on. Now Granada on the ball. Oh, we've been oh we've been playing so well midfield. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, it's Isco. Oh, what do we do? No, no, it's injured. Oh my God, there's an injury. Ronaldo. Oh, it's Ronaldo. Yes, baby. Who the hell was injured though? It looked like it was Hesse who kind of pulled a captor, but look at Ronaldo doing his thing on the wing. He missed a penalty, but he couldn't miss this shot. 2 0. We're relieved, man. We are relieved. Beautiful job. We're winning the ball all over the place. Now it's Gareth Bale making the run. Oh, look at the pace. Look at the pace. He's playing in the middle. No penal! What? That looked like a clear penalty. They knock him down. Now it's time to make some changes so we can rest some players for the midweek game. First change is taking out Ramos and putting in Fernandez. 
Uh, Granada hasn't been creating a lot, so we're going to play Fernandez, and uh, hopefully he can keep defense solid with Vallejo. Modric is going to come out. We're going to play in Kovacic, and the last change will be to either take out Bale or Ronaldo around the 75th minute. Kovacic comes into the game. Let's see how good he is in midfield. Come on, Kovacic. You have to mark. Oh, but now Granada, they're, they're gaining confidence now. We can't let that happen. Hesse. Isco. Trumpet. Fakir. Fakir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Holy crap. Two goals in one game. Gareth Bale celebrating with them. Ooh, Fakir. He freaking trumped it. This was a freaking trump ball. Isco makes the run. Defense is so bad. And Fakir beautiful finish he took his time now it's time for the last change so we're gonna move Fakir as Cam take out Bale and put in Benzema as a striker to play in these last 10 minutes we have a comfy lead and uh, Navas hasn't really been tested in the back but Granada is just losing the ball so easily now now it's Nabil Fakir the Frenchman with Benzema what else do you want Benzema comes in as a sub and he freaking scores Fakir with the assist and this is just too easy. Granada's defense is like water right now. We're literally going through it so easily. Benzema onside. Great job in positioning. And we just completely smacked Granada. Those were three easy points in the bag. But now we have to focus on the next game versus Athletic Bilbao. Fakir gets the man of the match with a 9.9. .9, which is very impressive. Getting two goals, one assist. Ronaldo got a 9.6 scoring a goal. Great job from him. Great game overall versus Granada. Now before we get into the match, I asked you guys in the previous episode to suggest some players we should train. And all of you told me to focus on Fakir, Hesse, and Kovacic. So these three players will always be training and I want them to be the most developed by next season. And Danilo and Varane, yes I finally said his freaking name right. Uh, they will be practicing also and training. I will be playing the trainings off camera and uh, hopefully we do well but thank you for the suggestions and keep suggesting the players we should train now after that win versus Granada this is how we're looking in the league table we're in third place with nine points behind Barcelona and Valencia next game versus Athletic Bilbao who are ninth with six points so we only have a three-point lead there the season barely started so we cannot assume a lot of things right now but we have to win our next game versus Athletic Bilbao it's gonna be a hard one so the plan worked our players are rested and they're ready for this game. Navas is in goal. We have Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, and Danilo on the defensive line. Modric and Pogba ready to play. James as Cam, Ronaldo on the left wing, Royce as right mid. And we have Bale playing as striker. One of you suggested me to do it, so we're going to try him out there and uh, see how he does. Barcelona won their game, so we're forced to win our game also versus Athletic Club Bilbao. It's going to be a hard game. But we have our best players playing. They're all rested and they're ready for this game. This is their squad. They have a pretty good damn squad with Laporte as their center back. A lot of you suggested me to get him. But I'm not sure yet. Our center backs right now, they're really good. But I know we need a new center back in the future. Uh, but this is our squad, a 4-5-1. And uh, we brought our best squad to face them in today's game. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, they're playing pretty well though. We're rain on the mark. Oh, they open it. Oh, we win it though. With Marco Royce. Great job. Now it's Luka Modric. I see Bale make the run. Oh, we're connecting. Oh, the ball's too long. Ah, oh, the counter was real though. Oh, but we win it. Bale, make the run. Oh, we're in. Ah, the cut. Alete on the ball. That's a goal. Oh my god, we're getting lucky, man. Alete. In the last three minutes, they've been playing really good, and they get the first shot of the game. Oh, man, they're marking him so good. Holy crap. Oh, that was a bad ball. What is... I was trying to pass it to Marcelo, and the ball was too long. Oh, they're playing well. They're going to open it wide. The shot, we get in the way. Great job. We deflected it. Not the first half I would want. We were playing very good at intercepting passes, but we just couldn't get the chances to goal. Uh, but nil nil at halftime versus Aleti. We have to play a lot better in the second half. Royce. Oh, I see the run. Beautiful job from Marco Royce. Oh, what? Pogba. Oh, man, that was close. The shot. Aleti's getting too many chances, man.
Oh, great job, Pogba. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Oh my god, that's so that's so much skill though. We're in what kind of shot was that, man? Holy crap, I'm getting pissed. All right, we're going to take out Royce. Royce is coming out. Benzema's coming in. We're also going to take out Modric and put in Kovacic. Omar say yes. Oh, come on. What is happening with us, man? We can't connect. We just can't. Oh, one minute of added time. Are we really going to draw? Take it out. Holy crap. One more attack, please. Just one more attack. In such an important game, we, we decide to mess up, man. It's been like this the whole season long. We do good in one game, and then we just mess up in the next one. I'm disappointed, guys. We, we draw versus Atleti. They had a great game, and they had some chances where they should have scored, but they couldn't, and neither could we. These were the match facts. Atleti had most of the possession, four shots, one on target. We had three shots, two on target. And uh, it was a very difficult game. We had chances. We, we should have scored in the first half when we kept intercepting passes, but we just couldn't create anything, and the result is nil-nil. Now taking a look at the league to end things off. Barcelona is in first place, undefeated with 13 points. We're in second with 10, and uh, we have a better goal difference than Valencia and Atletico Madrid. But hopefully we don't drop any more points in the league and uh, go on a better streak because I don't like the way we've been playing inconsistently. But we've come to the question of the day and I'm going to have a link to a straw poll down below and the question is should Benzema be back into the starting 11? Leave your opinion in the straw poll by either voting yes or no. Go ahead and vote. Also, one more thing before I forget, if you guys have any questions you want me to answer in a press conference that I have, make sure to leave a comment down below on what that question is and I'll try to answer it uh, in a press conference. So go ahead, it could be about the players, about the next fixtures we have, it could be about anything. So go ahead, leave a question and I'll answer it in a press conference. Now that's pretty much it, hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure to slap a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe, as well as follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you want to interact with me, but that's pretty much it. Go vote in the straw poll down below and uh, yeah that's pretty much it quinkin see you guys next time peace